Hi, this is Bibi. So I've decided to stay in the class. I'm still having some problems. I had a really rough week, and I think it's because I've been indoors all week, and this is a bit of a problem. Um, I can, I can, I feel there's something wrong. I don't know if it's my thinking or what, because I've been put in sort of a hole in my mind. In a hole where I feel I'm at the mercy of external sources. Now this could, I I can't, I feel like I'm, I, I financially I can't take care of myself in that sense. I just don't have enough money to get a place on my own right now. And these people want to keep it this way. In a way they're getting a witness. People are around me. I'm the only one who can smell this thing. I'm the only one who feels it. Of course, my cat's swelling as well. I told you this, my room feels a little off. My cat's been in there since last Thursday. Not yesterday, but the Thursday before. She's swelling. She can barely jump on the bed. She's swelling. You still think it's a coincidence. I don't think so. Whatever these people injected into me, they also injected into, into her. Or they introduced it into my environment when I lived in Oklahoma or before. And she inhaled it as well because she she's an indoor cat. I also have reason to believe that they infected the guy upstairs above me. Whatever this is, it smells almost like gunpowder, but it's coming from the inside out. Now, I don't know what it is. And how they're getting it inside you, I don't, I have no idea. This is, I shudder to think what, what the possibilities of this could be. I don't want to deal with it, I don't want to address it. I've been indoors for most of the week because of this course, and I feel like, like things have slowed down in my head somehow. I'm angry all the time. I'm hurting all the time. I feel like somebody's taken a flat iron or a thick layer of tar and put it behind my head. If I say that, one of them, I think, will we'll start to say, well, that's what they need to do. After all, I'm saying it, right? He's a parasite. I don't know what his upbringing was like, but I have a, a, a belief system that he was born into this type of behavior. Because I don't understand it. I, I just don't understand how you can convince family and friends to become this way. How does one convince family and friends to become this way? Even if... Well, look at me. Look what's been happening to me. If they were to tell me the only way I, I, I will stop hurting or they will stop tormenting me. Because this is not just stalking. This is literal tormenting me. Hurting me. that I have to hurt someone I'm not going to do it I'm not going to do it I don't want to die life is beautiful and I don't want to die and I don't want to be murdered by, by a group of people for no fucking reason let me rephrase that it's not that I don't want to die I don't want to be murdered by a group of fucking people indirectly who will think that their hands are clean for no fucking reason other than these people are bad I tell you, I've never, I, I, well, I'm not, a, I, I've never been exposed to this type of thing. Who, who, who would, who would even imagine that this type of behavior would exist in someone? But it does. It's like a, they're savages. They've lost every sense of 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 feeling good. I don't know what it is. This, they've got to be getting something from this, this keeping me upset all the time. I don't understand it. For three years, non-stop. I think they're disappointed also that I'm not dead yet, or a stroke or a heart attack. They keep saying they have to get out. Now, in my opinion, if they're trapped somehow with some by some technology, via technology, they're trapped in my head, or... 
or you know but just when i say trap they have something in their heads or 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 i don't think that they're stupid enough to do that i think what they would do is that they would put like a, a like a headset on i don't believe that they're going to put something in their heads and then put it a, a part of it like um in somebody else's head and uh, well, the only way they would do that is if they're leaving themselves no back door, but to have the person, but to kill them, so that they could be free. Because they keep hinting at this all day long. They have to get out. Get out of what? I'm not holding them hostage. I can't even pay my rent. I well, if I had to pay a rent, I'm barely eking out a, a, a living as it is. I don't know. I wasn't prepared for this uh, this time this time in my life, for no reason. It's not like there was a stock market crash. It's not like there was a, a pandemic. The pandemic did not affect me. Did not affect my my income. The pandemic had nothing to do with my income. I didn't have any ravaging diseases that that limited me from working. There was not a a a, a thinning out or a or a a lack of client or a lack of demand for my for my for my services in fact like i said some people were offering the services back in 2020 the most expensive product they had was like about 1500 dollars i believe or 25 or even 3000 now this it's 9000 dollars 9000 dollars that's why when I tell you there's not a lack of clients, there isn't. There isn't. $9,000. If there was really was a shortage or people were thinning out, people were not trying to solicit, it, trying to solicit uh, their services, they would have lowered their prices drastically. It went up. By at least 300%. So, and I just charge a fraction of that. My point is, what could have happened? Did just everybody stop, uh, uh, just cold turkey? One day in June, I made maybe a, maybe five, five grand or more in June of 2020. July, I had two clients. Two. Two seventy seven for one and three fifty for the other one. Two clients. So when I say literally from one month to the next, I ain't kidding you. Two clients. Two. 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 One, two, two people. And one of them is a friend still. Two. Two people. And in June, I made, I must have made at least, but at least 5,000. So, it's not a lack of clients. It's just somebody really jacked me up, and they jacked me up really bad. The intention was to do this to me. It's a fucking website. The website doesn't have anything special about it. I could make a website now and put it out there. And before midnight tonight, I could make a couple of hundred dollars or more. I know how to make money online. That's not going to change. This is not about me making money. This is about me being miserable until I die. For some reason, this excites these people. I don't know what I did to them. And I tell you the truth. This is my, as God is my witness. I, know, I don't know if it's a sin for saying that. I don't know them well enough to have done anything to hurt them. I don't know them. Whatever they are thinking, and these, these are people now, let's face it. They're not normal anymore. They're not normal anymore. As much as they will try to show a face to society, something is wrong. 
Something is wrong with these people. Wrong with them. Okay? So, you can't rationalize with that. Something is wrong with their thinking. Something is wrong with, with, with their, their thought process. And you can't convince them, you know, like, I didn't do anything to them. I don't know them. So if I try to tell that to them, it's not going to land. Because you're not dealing with people with a full deck. It's like talking to a stone wall. I don't know them. I don't know them well enough to have done anything to them of this nature. Because they're coming at me with hatred in their hearts. They hate me. Why? I don't know. They want to keep me broke all the time, hurting all the time. What excites them about that? I don't know. I believe that, that keeping me broke is keeping me in a place where they can control. Because if I were living in my own home, I would be having a ladder and I would be looking in that fucking attic all day long. Make sure no, no, nobody is in there. And that includes the spaces in between the walls. That includes the spaces in between the walls because that's one of the things I think they do. The spaces in between your walls. And they were having a hard time when I lived in Oklahoma because it was a solid uh, uh, concrete wall. It was a concrete wall. As, as I, you can see, you saw it on my videos. It was a concrete wall. So, I don't know what to deal, how to deal with this. If... I know that these people have, these people have put stuff. I don't know how how much. And I think I still have a feeling the G R A P H E N E. You saw the video I posted of how this thing reacts to a cell phone. If death was on your skin or in your skin, just underneath the surface, it would react the same way. Why can't people... It's like something is off with this. It moves. It's moving, it's crawling, and it's changing shape in reaction to the, to the cell phone's emissions. That's what I believe is, is a part of the problem. And I don't know how they're getting it. I don't know where you buy it. I don't know how, how they do it. But it's not a difficult thing. It just reacts to stuff. Anyway, um, I just feel t I just don't feel good. As you can see, my eyes are sunken, and I, f I look like I'm sick. And I just... I don't know. The back of my head hurts. My neck hurts. And to rationalize with irrational people is not going to be something that's going to really lead to any type of uh, happy ending just more frustration just more frustration because they're not living in the same reality as you and I are and they're the, the reality that they live in also is not just it's not mirroring ours in a sense, of most of our habits. The habits that exhibits us or our day-to-day -day is maybe 10%. It's just for show. 90% is this crap here. They're not equal to us anymore. And if they want to think that that makes them special, by all means, feel special. This is not my fault or my doing or God or the devil. This is human evil, plain and simple. By the choices these people make. 
Now, whatever this is, of an addiction, you know, people who have been alcoholics, gamblers, drug addicts, food addicts, porn addicts, sex addicts, work, work addiction, lazy addiction, and they snapped out of it. Most of them because of a necessity. What is that telling you? They don't feel threatened. They're not seeing anything wrong with their behavior. So it's not to say, well, they're trying to kill me for a reason that somebody's on their tracks. No. They're doing it for sheer spite, maliciousness, and just bad people. Bad people. For no reason, they're just bad. It's not my fault. Not your fault either. They're just, just, just bad people. I'll make another video later.